Hey, welcome back. We're at Luke chapter 4, verse 31 and 32 today for our morning devotional. Let's read it. Then he went down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and was teaching them on the Sabbaths. And they were astonished at his teaching, for his word was with authority. So this is Jesus. He's been in the wilderness. He's come back. And now he's going to get into this, and he's, he starts off his ministry in, the, in, in Nazareth. They reject him there, and he goes down the street. He's over in Galilee now, and so he's around Lake Gennesaret, the Sea of Galilee. And so it says here he went and was teaching them on the Sabbath. Well, where would, where would the serious people, followers of God, be on the Sabbath? I'm talking about what's our equivalent to today, the Saturday. That would be... The Jewish people, they would be in their synagogues during that day. So what does Jesus do? He goes to the established place where everybody would expect there to be uh, spiritual insight and truth and where the scriptures are read. And so there he is and he goes in and he's teaching in the area around around the Sea of Galilee. So he's teaching them. He's, it's on the Sabbath. And then notice 32 gives us really kind of the reaction to the teaching of Jesus and there we have it. They were astonished at his teaching. His teaching was different. It was different from what they were used to hearing. It had an authority to it. It says his word was with authority. And so there's a difference between the common things you hear, you know, the, the oh so common stuff, the platitudes and the little, little sayings that you often hear. People go and they don't expect there to be a big insight from heaven. But you know what? I believe that when the preacher preaches, that God's Holy Spirit works through the, the preacher, the converted preacher. I believe that when you speak, that, that heaven is communicating between you and the congregation. I don't believe that a preacher that speaks that every word, every sentence, every, every literal word he has is inspired. I don't believe that. But I do believe that God communicates light through his servants, his messengers, and that a, a converted Christian preacher who's... who's Going from the word is, is hopefully sharing some message from heaven for the hearers. Jesus, he, they're astonished at his teaching. They're amazed. They, they, this, does, this isn't anything like what they're used to. Jesus is teaching them in such a way that, that uh, he's got their attention. They're, they're completely on board. This isn't common platitudes. They're not going down to hear the latest, the latest uh, common music and then get a 15-minute get a, you know, run of jokes by somebody with a water bottle in jeans. That's not what they're talking about here. Jesus is there and he's teaching. He's teaching the word of God and he's teaching with an unusual authority. So this is the perception as Jesus' ministry continues. By the way, interesting that Jesus doesn't go. He's not, he doesn't go like downtown Jerusalem. That's not where he's doing this. He's going out to the common folk, the fisher folk, people who are willing to believe, people who who maybe they don't have all the credentials, maybe they don't have all the education they might have. But you know what? The biggest and most important thing is to have a heart that is open to God, a heart that is sincere. If you have a sincere purpose and you're seeking for insight from God, God will guide you. And you'll be able to discern when you're hearing some uh, common waste of time that's not really from heaven, or you're hearing a sermon that is Holy Spirit indicted, and that that comes and moves your heart and mind for the gospel. So Jesus is uh, off and running here, and he's got some hearers. Oh, that we could hear the word of God spoken with authority in our churches today. It'll only come if we start from the Bible. Hey, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, one thing we would like to pray for is that as we go into our churches, wherever, wherever each listener might be, that we will hear the word of God, that we will hear your word presented through a faithful speaker, a faithful presenter, a preacher, someone who's actually in communion with the Holy Spirit, who actually has a message for us from you. So please, Lord, help those that are in the pulpits, help the pastors and the teachers, help, help us to discern and understand when your word is coming to us with an authority, a spiritual authority, because that's what we need today. Help our preachers, Lord, this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray for your preacher, and may the Lord help him, and may you be blessed, and may all that you do today be blessed as part of God's kingdom. God be with you today.